Hey everybody, this is the next and final video in the mini ITX BMC build video series. And before I show you the changes I've made to this build over the past couple of weeks since the last video I posted, I wanted to show you guys how I like to organize my media. So as you can see here on the hard drive, we've got backgrounds, which I'll explain in a bit, utilities, which are the programs and scripts I use in each media center build. If you want to see the ones I used in this one, feel free to look at the previous videos in the series. TV is just for TV shows. Now, XBMC has a weird um, format for when you load TV series. So as you can see, let me go back here, I have the show name, the season number, and then each folder has each uh, episode in the season, and then it has the show name, season number, X episode number, and then um, video file quality. If you want to know why you have to name things like that, the best way to do that is to look it up in the XBMC wiki. I'm not entirely sure why, I just know that's how I do it and it usually works. So if you want more information, I'll post a link to the wiki in the description. Photos is blank because this is not going to be my media center, it's for a friend and her family, so they'll be adding that in, as well as music. But movies, I got a list of what movies they wanted, and I cross-referenced it with movies I have. So those are the ones I've been able to put in. As you can see, some of these have a bit different um, folder name and file name, but I'm starting to use a certain pattern, and that is uh, movie name, the year it was uh, released, the video quality, the audio quality, and then the source it was ripped from or copied from. And the reason for this, I keep the date just in case there's a movie that has the same title as another movie that was maybe five or ten years old. That way there's no confusion. I keep the audio, video, and source um, tags because XBMC can use those and display them in XBMC while you're browsing. And that just makes for a tidier experience. And so you may think it may take a while if you have, you know, 300 movies like I do. But if you do it once or twice or just spend, you know, five minutes a day just tagging some of these, it'll go by pretty fast. And then as soon as you add new movies in, you can, you know, stick to that sort of um, um, naming convention. And then your XBMC will look as nice as it could. I also keep the n name of the video file to the same as the name of the folder. And then I have the poster and the fan art. Now something I've started to do, as you can see I have the poster here, but for this movie X-Men I couldn't find a good fan art that I liked. So I used this. This is my default um, poster and fan art uh, picture. I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description below. And so if I can't find a good fan art, rather than leaving it blank and having that sort of gap when you browse to that video file in XBMC, I put this. And that just, like I said, makes it for a um, more sleek, uh, cleaner, and you know, less jarring when you go from one fan art and you go from all this beautiful fan art to something that has no fan art and then you're just left with like a blank background. And like I said, I'll be sure to provide a link to that in the description. If you guys have any other default posters or fan art you use, feel free to let me know. Oh, let me go back here. I also have a backgrounds folder for each movie. And that is if I can find fan art that I like a lot, and then I find more fan art that I like. I stick that in the backgrounds, and maybe every three or four months I switch them around. Or I just put them all in my giant backgrounds folder, which I use as the um, background art for XBMC. Going back to the backgrounds shortcut, this is actually in XBMC. As you can see, it's in XBMC Media Backgrounds. The reason for that is XBMC, as you've seen from the videos I've shown, when you load it up, I have a scrolling background of different um, movie, music, TV show, and photo, you know, image files those are all in here and so what I do is I just put a bunch of fan art in each of these folders and then in the skin I'm using I tell it to select the fan art from a folder and then I point to this folder and it will shuffle through all of them and as new movies come out and things like that or as I find new fan art I just add them to this list and so it's a pretty 
big collection. If anyone is interested in it, let me know, leave a comment below, and I'll try and um, put all of these in a zip file or RAR file and upload it somewhere for you all. As for organization, that's pretty much it. There's not all that much to it. It can just take some time. Um, some programs you may want to look into if you want to automate this would be Ember Media Manager. Um, and you really don't even have to if you're fine with the fan art and posters and information that XBMC pulls. Um, the family that's going to be using this, I'm not sure if they're going to spend as much time organizing you know, their files as I do. So I wanted to make sure that all the ones that are in there currently are in their best condition. They're all cleaned up, the names are tidied, all the proper info is there as well. But for the most part, they may just be using the XBMC scrapers and things like that. And that's not really a problem. If you're happy with that, then feel free to use it. There are some times when I have an older movie or a newer movie that it doesn't pick it up or it gives me the wrong title and that's when I have to change things myself. So for the most part, I like to have all the info in the folder that the video file is in before I add it to XBMC. Speaking of XBMC, I'm going to load it here. You'll notice a few changes. One of the biggest is that the skin looks a bit different now. And that's because I'm actually not using the same skin. I'm using Aeon MQ5, which is an amazing skin. I'm going to switch my main media center to Aeon MQ5 after I finish this video series. It's that good. And the main reason I chose to upgrade, apart from the looks, is because it runs much faster. Um, Marcus Kui, the skinner who made Aeon MQ4 and Aeon MQ5, among other skins, really outdid himself with this. It is very efficient. And as you can see, even though I'm running uh, screen capture software and I had to disable Windows, um, the color scheme to Windows Basic instead of Arrow, it's still running like a dream. And that was really my main concern about this build was would it be able to copy movies fast or at least in a reasonable amount of time? Would it be able to play video files without stuttering? And would the skin be able to run without you know looking like it's very slow? Because that's one of the main advantages of building your own media center over using something like a Roku or a PS3 media server or um, the Apple TV is that it can be a bit faster. It's a bit more expensive, but you know it's a bit faster. And for me, that's really the biggest um, deal breaker for me in a media center is if it's slow, then you might as well just go put in the DVD. But this is much faster than a DVD player, so I'm very happy. It still supports shortcuts, uh, some menus and things like that. And for video files, it's pretty much the same. Hopefully this doesn't... Uh, there we go. I was talking about how fast it loads and then it loads a bit slow. As you can see, like I was saying, since I don't have the um, Blu-ray tag on this one, it shows H.264 as the box, which is kind of confusing to people who aren't familiar with video file formats. Or this one shows MPG2. Whereas this movie, A Christmas Story, shows the Blu-ray disc box. And so, like I said, it just makes it for a more sleek experience. And I'm going to start doing that for all of these movies before I um, hand this build over to the people it's going to. But as far as the skin goes, like I said, it works identically to Aeon MQ4. The settings are exactly the same. They're just in, you know, slightly different... Um, more spruced up menus. So for all intents and purposes, the videos I've made prior to this one will still work for this skin. So don't freak out because it's a new skin. That, that means that none of the other videos are going to work. It'll work just fine. I just wanted to show you guys some of the last minute changes I've been making before it gets um, handed off because we've only got about a week and a half before I'm going to present this to my friend and her family. So I'll let you guys know what they thought of it when they get it and hopefully I don't have to make any more videos outlining how to repair this or how to make it more user friendly. Hopefully I've done a good enough job on that front. As always though, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like what you see, I would really appreciate a like to let me know that I should keep making these sorts of films um, and videos. And as always, if you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching the entirety of this video series. I know it was a bit long, but sometimes that's what you have to do to you know, outline projects and things like that. So hopefully I was able to help a few of you um, convince some of you maybe to build your first media center or maybe a new media center. And as always, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions on what you want me to do 
um, from here on out, feel free to let me know. As always, thanks for watching.